Oh, hello, you two people. <laughs> so today I want to show you this Casio world timer, which you have seen already like a million times on YouTube. <laughs> so, but the reason why I bought this watch is that I like Casios overall and I kind of want to try all of the most popular Casio watches and to see for myself why are they so popular, what's so special about them. And in this video, to make this video a little bit more interesting and intriguing, <laughs> I'll tell you why this Casio World Timer is actually a better watch than this G-Shock, which is 5750E, or basically the same watch as, as very popular 5600BB, super popular watch. And I kind of see the reason, you see, 20 euros, what you get for the money is just incredible. <laughs> I mean, just to list a few things, it's like 10 year battery, 100 meters of water resistance, very comfortable buttons to use, also timers, a stopwatch, several alarms, volt timer, and yeah, so, and overall you get this kind of image, which is rather cool. Me personally, I'll tell you straight away, I'm not the biggest fan of the design of this watch. In my eyes, this is kind of a old style digital watch which hasn't really aged well, but that is just completely my personal opinion. I know other people who love watches and know their opinion about this watch. They say this is actually a beautiful watch, looks nice, especially when modded. And speaking about modded, I do agree with them like fully. I have seen a lot of modded uh, world timers on YouTube and people are like, wow, they are very skillful. I have seen some very nice modifications with different colors, with leather straps, etc. So I'm not gonna do that. I, I just tell you my point <laughs> that original, nah, not, not for me, but modded, oh yeah, it does look really nice modded. This G-Shock is indestructible to the point where you don't even need this kind of strength in the watch, this kind of indestructibility. It's ease of mind to have this kind of a strong watch, you know, it's enjoyable, kind of, it's fun, okay? Uh, but do you really need in the real world this kind of indestructibility? No, not really. This watch is just enough. I mean, for anything you do, you, you mow the lawn, you cut, you cut the grass, you work with some kind of power tools, you go to the gym, you can wear this watch doing anything like that. You can also swim with this watch and travel <laughs> around the world. So you get the idea, this watch does it all. And you see that main thing is that it does most of those things better than, for example, this G-Shock. This G-Shock has a small problem. The problem with this G-Shock is that on this timer I can only go up in numbers but I can't go back in numbers and that is just truly annoying but with this Casio you can actually go down in numbers like down I can go up with another button it's very convenient that's why this Casio is better than this Casio <laughs> so and that's not all. There are other things why this Casio is better. For example, if you want to use a watch in a gym environment, for example, there is one problem. Is that these buttons on most square G-Shocks and this style of G-Shocks and pretty much any other G-Shocks i ever seen, yeah, these buttons are very annoying. And to use this timer conveniently is just like, sometimes I actually miss the button. I want to stop the timer, but my finger slips or something and I just don't stop the timer, which is very annoying sometimes. That's why this Casio is actually better than the G-Shock. These buttons are actually very good. Not excellent. They don't have this kind of a clicky feel. There is no feedback. They are very spongy, but they are very stiff. They sit in place very nicely. They don't wobble around. And I mean, what else do you want? I mean, you don't even need those buttons to be this crazy protected. This is just fine for every day. There is one thing where I would say this G-Shock is actually a little bit better. Uh, it doesn't matter. Let's go to the timer function and let's start the timer. So at the top, I see this analog watch. The problem is 
that me personally I have trouble telling the time from this analog watch it's it's not very convenient let's just say that it's just very tiny and I am always guessing what's the time and with this G-Shock on the top of the screen I see the current time like in proper digital format which is very convenient I like that function very very much wonderful watch for 20 euros it's incredible I mean that's all you need really 10 year battery 100 meters of water resistance and I believe in day-to-day -day situation it is as durable as this G-Shock yeah okay thank you for watching have a nice day and goodbye and I'm going back to sleep <laughs>